pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. Rosario behind with an 0-2 count. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count but clearly he wasn't looking for it so it's a backwards K for him. So now to the plate Mitch Garver as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. No score here as we play inning number two. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. The one two misses ball two and good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt it's full now three and two Miguel Sano is on deck making him sweat out there the seventh pitch coming up. Now here's a check swing and they appeal down to first no swing so that's ball four. He almost got him to commit there as we take another look at it in slow motion. He comes awfully close to breaking that plane but he was able to hold back strong wrist and he gets a trip to first because of it. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. From the stretch. A high fastball is in there. Now the 0 1. And he lays off for ball one. Runners on first with one down. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone. One and two. That misses and we're even at two and two. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Here now the two two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting mm -hmm. pitch selection oh, right. to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Into the box now, Luis Arias. He swings and grounds it to short. Bichette's got it. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. So no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one man left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here Leading comes off. the first Over baseman, again. Travis Shaw. The first baseman, Travis Now the pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Fastball just missed above the zone. Fouled off.
Ball two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. So one away here with the bases empty. And the big right-handed bat of Randall Grichuk saunters into the batter's box next. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In on the hands a bit with the fastball. It's 1-0. Hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two-seamer. He needs to make sure he catches this thing out front if he sees that pitch again. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Here it comes. I got to count two and two. Full count, three and two. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be that scored, looking or swinging. He tried to check Stay his swing, up. but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Oh. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. The 1-0 home is a low changeup that's laid off. Bottom of the second here with no score. 3 and 0 now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four-pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. 3 and 1. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. And he fouls this one off. Just the second inning, but already 37 pitches to this point. And another foul ball. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Blue Jays go down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Cleveland Indians and the Toronto Blue Jays. It's Blue Jays baseball, and it's on its way next. Hyunjin Ryu is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Toronto. What's your take on him, Dan? 
Well, Matt, he reminds me, he's the closest thing that I've seen to David Wells. You watch him throw, he's 89 to 93 miles an hour, kind of a big, loopy overhand curveball, does have the hard slider and the changeup. A good athlete for a big guy. You'll know if he's on early. He has to get his breaking pitches over to make his fastball effective. Digging in now, Cesar Hernandez. He will lead this one off today. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. First pitch, one o'clock. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone on strikes to start the afternoon. If you've got a good fastball going and they're not handling, keep throwing it. Right there, three fastballs in a row. He gone. In now, Jose Ramirez. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Very nice afternoon, high skies and 77 degrees at game time. Now the one and one pitch. And set up behind the plate is Ricky Holiday, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. I can't figure his zone out. He doesn't favor the hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. Dero, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're looking for, we're looking for a consistent zone. If it's a tight zone, it's a high zone. Have the same zone. His zone fluctuates a little bit too much for my liking during the course of a game. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Hits this one hard the other way. Fielded cleanly, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Batting third, the shortstop, Francisco Lindor. Stepping in, Francisco Lindor. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And now pitch on the way. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. One and one the count. Now here it comes. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Good job to lay off that one two breaking ball put himself right back in this at bat. Heading out towards shallow right waiting on it is Hernandez and that's the third out. Indians go down one two three. Now the Blue Jays will get their chance no score. Shane Bieber is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Cleveland. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable pitchers in the game. Standing in, Kevin Biggio. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Leader half of the first. The second baseman, Kevin. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Big swing and a miss.